Everyone knows that the Tesla Model S Plaid is insanely fast in a straight line, but what is it like to use as a daily driver? Tesla vehicle pricing is notorious for its price fluctuations, sometimes angering buyers who've placed orders for cars just days prior to unannounced price drops. But even with this history in the background, the Model S has been on a roller coaster ride this year. While the Model S gets another big surge in price, 2021 Tesla Model S owner says quality issues not okay on $100,000 car. Interestingly, the Tesla Model S costs a whopping $67,699 more when purchased in Israel than it does in the US. It's quite common knowledge by now, especially amidst the popular Model 3 boat mode, videos from China that Teslas handle floods quite well. But while a Tesla's battery and powertrain are sealed tight, there are levels of water that may still prove a bit too dangerous or risky. This was definitely the case in a recent incident involving a Tesla Model S in Helen, Georgia earlier this month. Before we start however let us know in the comments below what do you think about the Model S price and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe to Technopool, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Tesla Model S gets another big surge in price. For starters, after temporarily idling production in January, the first deliveries of the redesigned Model S only began in June of this year with the updated car adding the now mandatory yoke-style steering and some fresh bodywork. Additionally, after the Plaid Plus was abruptly cancelled, the Model S Plaid quickly grew $10,000 in price. Not to be outdone, the base Model S surged $5,000 a few weeks ago, and has now added an additional $5,000 on top of that, increasing $10,000 overall in the span of about a month. That's a big change from a starting price of $69,420 last fall. So if you bought a Model S in late 2020, give yourself a pat on the back as odds are you've saved the equivalent of a new Nissan Leaf, after the $7,500 rebate, as EV makers like to remind. The base Model S long range, with a 405-mile EPA range and a dual-motor all-wheel drive setup, now starts at $89,990. The Model S Plaid, on the other hand, will serve up a tri-motor, all-wheel drive setup with a range of 394 miles, a 200 miles per hour top speed and 1.99 second launches to 60 miles per hour. Among other things, this means that the Model S is down to just two flavors in the US market, both of them offering quite impressive specs. So what's to blame for the price increase? Tesla isn't saying, which is not to imply that it had telegraphed reasons for price increases or drops in the past, but Tesla CEO Elon Musk has stated quite openly in the past few months that the automaker is facing a variety of supplier pressures, in addition to efforts to get two new factories up and running. A few things are probably prudent to keep an eye on in the next year when it comes to the Model S. First, of course are delivery schedules that could be subject to more supplier issues in the next 12 months, which could mean generous waiting times to receive a car. Second, the yoke-style steering in the Model S has yet to receive a definitive review from enough new owners, and is perhaps best to be tried first-hand at a Tesla store or event. Third, the Model S will receive two more direct competitors later this year in the form of the Mercedes-Benz EQS and the Audi e-tron GT, in addition to the already available Porsche Taycan. A price increase just before those two new competitors arrive, therefore, is likely a practical move by Tesla to maximize per car profits before any risk of dilution by fresh metal. 2021 Tesla Model S owner says quality issues not okay on $100,000 car. There has been a lot of talk about the build quality of Tesla vehicles over the years, some of it not that flattering for the EV manufacturer. Mind you, Tesla's build quality has greatly improved since the early days, but it's still not on par with similarly priced vehicles from legacy automakers. With the release of the revamped Model S and Model X, Tesla fans had great expectations about the fit and finish, but it appears that there's still room for improvement in that department. At least that's the experience one owner had after taking delivery of his 2021 Model S long range. Vlogger Mr. Exit Strategy describes the build quality of his car as definitely far from perfect. He has found a few quality issues with his Model S that are not easy to justify on a car that cost 100 grand. Among those, he mentions stuff like paintwork defects and scratches, doors that creak during opening and closing, interior rattling noise and squeaks from loose trim pieces, and wrinkled door rubber gaskets. More minor problems include small residue stains on the leatherette covering the dash, a whistling sound produced by the air conditioning system when air is blown at high speeds, the driver's side mirror that shakes during driving. 
Granted, none of these are major issues, and Tesla's quality control could have fixed most of them before delivery. Now, the owner says that he absolutely loves the car and would order one again even knowing it will come with these slightly annoying issues. He also points out that the Model Y he took delivery of a month and a half ago has much better quality than this refreshed Model S, so maybe they are typical of a particular batch of Model S EVs. Obviously, one should not rule out the possibility of this being an isolated case. It's worth noting that this criticism does not come from a Tesla hater, as the initial video with the car filmed shortly after taking delivery shows, he clearly loves the car. Anyway, this owner says he's notified Tesla of these quality issues and will report back after the automaker resolves them. The cheapest and most expensive countries to buy Tesla Model S. Interestingly, the Tesla Model S costs a whopping $67,699 more when purchased in Israel than it does in the US. This information comes from recent research provided by carinsurance.ae. The publication compared five luxury vehicles based on their pricing in 30 different markets across the globe. Two of the five vehicles were electric, while the Tesla Model S starts at $79,990 in the US, the price is $89,990 now, its average global price based on the 30 markets comes in at $108,196, which still makes its price in Israel notably high. The next most expensive place to buy a Model S is Denmark, where it starts at over $132,000. That's still more expensive than buying the range-topping Model S Plaid on our shores. It's a bit surprising that the UK lands near the top of the list along with Sweden in the middle. It comes as no surprise the Model S is the cheapest in the US since Tesla is a US automaker, and it produces the Model S in the States. The newly refreshed long-range high-performance electric car actually costs almost $20,000 less in the US than the global average. Moreover, you can get a Model S in the US for about $60,000 less than it will cost you in Israel. Carinsurance.ae also notes that the US is the cheapest country in the world to buy the Audi e-tron Quattro, which starts at $65,900. That's nearly $20,000 less than the global average of $87,800. Tesla Model S takes boat mode a bit too far by going full submarine edition. This was definitely the case in a recent incident involving a Tesla Model S in Helen, Georgia earlier this month. Helen was hit by a lot of rainfall recently due to Tropical Storm Fred. As noted by local news reports, White County officials were busy most of Tuesday August 17 with storm-related issues such as power outages and flooding. Helen, in particular, saw some of its streets flooded by overflowing water from the Chattahoochee River. It was in one of these streets that a Tesla Model S owner decided to brave the deep waters. But unlike his fellow electric vehicle owners in China who take their Model 3s across flooded streets that were up to their vehicle's wheel arches, the Model S owner seemed to go even further. At one point during the all-electric sedan's foray into the flooded street, the waters were so deep that the Model S didn't look like it was in boat mode anymore. Instead, it seemed like the vehicle was already in submarine mode. Such a stunt, of course is not really recommended, and one can only imagine the repair bill of the Model S if its trip through the floodwaters went sideways. Fortunately for the Tesla owner, though the all-electric sedan seemed to have weathered the floodwaters fairly well, as it seemed to cross the area unscathed. Videos taken of the vehicle during its crossing revealed that some motorists were quite amazed at the feat. Elon Musk has mentioned in the past that Teslas can actually work as impromptu boats for short periods of time. This was demonstrated in China back in July when a Model 3 owner used his all-electric sedan to get out of a flooded tunnel that was already filled with other vehicles that were shut down due to the rising waters. The dramatic video, which featured the Model 3 owner gunning the car across a flooded area, fortunately ended with the Tesla finding safe ground. This allowed the Model 3 owner and his passengers to flee from the floodwaters safely. Teslas in China are actually tested in a flood simulator in Gigafactory Shanghai before they are brought over to delivery centers. The facility simulates flooded streets, and every Model 3 and Model Y manufactured in Giga Shanghai are put through the simulator before they are sent to delivery centers or abroad. This allows the company's vehicles to be ready for the numerous typhoons that typically hit China and nearby regions every year. Tesla Model S Plaid. Too quick for a daily driver. YouTube vlogger drivers only, tries to answer that question after the first month of owning the fastest Tesla money can buy today. Now, you may say that one month is not that long to own a car, and you'd be right. 
However, this owner can provide a far more accurate review of the Model S Plaid than many other vloggers who talk mainly about the car's acceleration. Then there's the fact that he previously owned a Model Y, so he can offer an interesting perspective about how different the two models are. The specific car in the video rides on the optional 21-inch arachnid wheels, which come with a 48-mile range penalty over the standard 20-inch rims. Despite that, the owner says that's totally worth it because they make the car look a whole lot better. When it comes to the driving experience, the reviewer says the Model S Plaid is nicer to drive than the Model Y and more comfortable, which should not come as a big surprise. It's smooth around town, but very planted when cornering at higher speeds, thanks to the adaptive air suspension. That said, this user is not too thrilled with the yoke and says he'd rather have a normal steering wheel. As you would expect, the yoke is fine when driving straight, but in tight turns things can get awkward. The steering feel, however, is spot on in his book. Also, the turn signals on the yoke are okay, but he says he would definitely prefer a traditional stalk. As for the rest of the interior, this review praises it as a significant improvement in terms of fit and finish, with a special mention for the seats that are more comfortable than before and the good practicality. Obviously, the review is a lot more detailed and you'll have to see all 19 minutes of it to learn more. Overall, the Model S Plaid is deemed a fantastic daily driver, if that's the answer you were looking for. We hope you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. There are many more future-focused tech videos coming in the near future, so until then stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video.